We'll go ahead and look at how to reduce fractions using the greatest common factor method. Let's start by explaining what it means to reduce fractions and then we'll look at the steps that we follow to reduce fractions and then we'll actually reduce some fractions using the greatest common factor method. So when we say we're reducing a fraction, we're trying to rewrite the fraction in the simplest form which means that when we write it in the simplest form, there will be no common factors that can further divide both the numerator and the denominator. So let's look at some steps here. We want to first find the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. And we'll divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. The result of that division of the numerator and denominator becomes the new fraction or it also becomes the reduced fraction. Now let's go ahead and look at some examples. So we're going to have the greatest common factor of 12 and 16. So 12 and 16 we have common factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 here. And for 16, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Our common factors are 1, 2, and 4. And the greatest common factor is 4. So what we're saying with this approach is we have 12 over 16. We divide by 4, the numerator, and divide the, de the denominator also by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So this is the approach we're describing. Let's try another example. We have 48 and then we have 75. The common factors of 48, the factors of 48 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and then 48. Factors of 75 are 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and then 75. Our common factors are 1 and 3, and the greatest common factor is going to be 3. So what we now do here is we have 48 divided by 3 over 75 divided by 3, which is going to give us, let's try to work it out, 48 divided by 3. 4 divided by 3, we have 1. 1 times 3, we have 3. We subtract 4 minus 3, 1. We bring down 8. 18 divided by 3, we have 6. 6 times 3, we have 18. So that's 48 divided by 3 is 16. And then 75 divided by 3. 7 divided by 3, we have 2. 2 times 3, we have 6. We subtract, we have 1 here. And then we bring down 5. 15 divided by 3, we have 5. 5 times 3, we have 15. We subtract and we have 0 here. So 75 divided by 3 is 25. So this is going to be the simplest form of 48 over 75. Now we have reduced 78 over 120 into its simplest form. Let's look at 78. We have 1, 2, 3, 6. 13, 26, 39, and then 78. 120, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 24, 30, 40, 60, and then 120. Our common factors here are 1, 2, 3, and 6. 
and our greatest common factor is 6. So we now have 78 divided by 6, 120 divided by 6, 78 divided by 6, let's look at that this way, 7 divided by 6, we have that one time, 1 multiplied by 6, we have 6, we subtract, we left it 1 here, and then we bring down 8, 18 divided by 6, we have 3, 3 times 6, we have 18, so this is 13, divided by 12 divided by 6 we have 2 put a 0 at the end 13 over 20 and then finally we have 165 divided by 225 so let's go ahead and get 165 we have 1 3 5 11 15 33 55 165 and then we have 225 we have 1 3 5 9 15 25 45 75 225 so our common factors are 1 3 5 and 15. The greatest common factor is 15. So now we'll divide both the numerator and denominator by 15. So that's going to be 165 divided by 15 over 225 divided by 15. So let's start with 165. 165 divided by 15. 16 divided by 15 we have 1. 1 times 15, we have 15, we subtract, we have 1, we bring down the 5, 15 divided by 15, we have 1, 1 times 15, we have 15, we subtract, we have a remainder of 0. Now, 225, we're going to divide 225 by 15, 2 divided by 15, we can do that, 22 divided by 15, we have 1, 1 times 15, we have 15, we subtract, we're left with 7, we bring down 5, 75 divided by 15, that's going to give you 5, 5 times 15, we have 75. So we subtract, we have 0, so this is going to give us 11 in the numerator and 15 in the denominator.